Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl Shay Miller Ray, and I'm back with another video. I just want to say I love all you guys, and I hope everything's been going nicely and well for you. I hope all your dreams and aspirations and, you know, goals and things be accomplished this year. I know this year, I wouldn't say it has been bad. It's actually started out pretty well. Um, I haven't had any um, rough start for this year, but uh, I'm looking forward to accomplishing great things, and I hope you all are doing well with your life. Um, this video is mostly, it's going to be about God. Higher divine, uh, divine, higher self, or higher you know, higher power. Uh, I want to talk about God because, you know, I love God. And I am a firm believer in the creator, in the higher divine, the higher divine creator, the higher power. But I also believe that God is within us and, and, and within us as people. The spirit dwells in us. And we are the very reflection and the very essence of that God, right? In the image of God, we are made. And the very breath of life was blown into us. We are the essence of that beauty. Um, and I think it's wonderful when I think about... Um, when, I, when I look at the um, sky and I see the, the beautiful moon out in the daytime and then I see the sun out um, I was having this thought yesterday I was like ain't it wonderful how the moon and the sun can be out at the same time in the day and and have some and even have a moment of eclipse but that's like once every so many years come together in eclipse but at nighttime the sun cannot be out at night. Only in the day can the moon and the sun exist. But they sometimes exi they exist in a distance. They're never very close to each other. Chasing. Always chasing each other. But eventually, the moon chases the sun away at night. And I just think it's extraordinary the the world that we live in and how beautiful things really are and how amazing we are as people we're beautiful and we you know we make a lot of mistakes no lie but we get to live life every single day and decide for ourselves we get the free will to make better decisions we get to choose the paths we want to be on we can choose to be miserable, we can choose to be happy. We can choose a great life, or we can choose the worst kind. Ultimately, life is full of cause and effects, and most of the decisions we make lead us to some of the things that we're experiencing in our lives. And I'm really happy I get to experience life, and I'm really happy that I'm here living with for a purpose and really helping people in the way that I can as a person. It makes me excited for what my future may present. I mean, I'm striving for great things, but you know, I don't know all of me. I didn't create me. My my two parents came together; they had me, but ultimately they're not really my creator you know what i'm saying they really didn't create they didn't create themselves so it's always a bigger picture and i think of the higher divine i think about how amazing things are even the pain has significant power and impact for our lives like the things that we experience the pain the hardships they have such a turning point in our lives and bring forth so much more greatness they turn these things turn into testimonies um they turn into our stories they turn into messages for people who may be experiencing the same thing it's just extraordinary to see all the lives um and all the experiences of other people and seeing so many people live their purpose and live their life on purpose and deciding every day to live right and it's a lot of people struggling to live, struggling to decide to live. 
but ultimately we all have those phases we have those phases where we not sure if we want to live not sure because in us it will go through these stages of life where sometimes we're we're alive right we're alive but we feel like we're dying inside and sometimes the the inner self can feel like it's going through hell and you know sometimes we project that reality in our real life and sometimes the external self is often miserable as the internal self so um i just want you i just i was just wonder if anybody on my channel anybody watching um if you guys have a relationship with god and and if you love god if you love yourself um and what and what's your connection like um and what and what do you think about the world and what you see and what's your perspective on life and things and purpose and just the beauty of everything waterfalls water <laughs> sand and it seems so simplistic but i didn't create the mountains <laughs> i can create a painting of the mountains but i didn't create the mountains i can paint the trees I can draw the trees, but I didn't create them myself. And that's what we had to come to acknowledgement of. We are small creators of a higher power, of a higher guide, and a most divine, a most divine spirit, right? We are so much less, but we are so much more because of that spirit that created us. And because of that, we have so much to live for. We have to live on purpose. You must continue to live on. And you must continue to live happily. So have a great relationship with you. Have a great relationship with life. Um, really live on purpose. Days, it'll be days you wake up and you may not feel happy. You may not feel like living on. You may want to give up. Don't keep going. Because... Despite how you feel, what you may think, those things change. Thoughts change, feelings change, but purpose, even purpose can change. In one season of your life, you may be doing this, but we all have an ultimate purpose. I mean, you have different purposes in different seasons of your life. Don't forget about the four seasons of life. In every season of your life. Um, you have a different purpose. Every um, different age you grow, you got to overcome different comfort zones and, you know, so many different things and embedded in depths of life. But I hope everyone enjoys their life and spend time being grateful and having gratitude. If you're alive today to see this, you have so much to be grateful for. Be proud of yourself, love yourself, and continue to be encouraged no matter how things are going. They can always get better tomorrow <laughs> or the next day. You never know when they get better, but you have to choose to live on the spike.